guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video for you guys. And today we did get brand new sets, four of them. All of them will give you something decent if you're able to complete the set. The problem is that these sets are so ridiculously expensive to complete that once again, just like we've seen most of the year, it's pretty much unreasonable for anyone to complete them. Like, if you actually complete it, chances are that you're going to lose coins. So, what we're going to do today is take a look at the sets real, real quickly. I just want to show you guys the ones that they put out today because there is some really nice stuff as far as, like I said, the rewards if you're able to complete them. So, what you're going to see here, guys, is the four sets. So, the first one is going to be a Legend set, then a Flashback, then a Team of the Week, and last, we'll take a look at a Football Outsider. So, First, we've got the Legend set. Now, this one, in my opinion, is the most reasonable of the bunch, but it's still pretty ridiculous if you take a look at it. Obviously, guys, you see here the Ultimate Legend set. So basically what you need is any 90 to 96 overall legend. So one of the guys that was out, out earlier this year, not Ultimate Legends, regular Legends, and you can put them into a set and then you'll get a 90, what is it, like 97 or above, I believe, as an Ultimate Legend in return. Now, again, guys, you have to put 15 of these in there. Even the cheaper Legends go for a decent amount of coins. So, I mean, you're really looking at a pretty expensive set to complete almost no matter which cards you put in it. And honestly, the chances of you actually pulling one of the real high-end Ultimate Legends, of course, are probably going to be pretty low as usual, as they always are with the EA sets. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind, guys, when you're trying to complete this type of set. Obviously, if you have a really ridiculously good team and you just have Legends sitting on your bench, you can roll the dice if you want to on this, but my opinion would be I would stick away from this. I just don't think the value is honestly there. Um, again, because you're taking such a big chance in what you might get in return, and it might not be worth anywhere near as much as it costs. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind, guys, as you're going through these sets. Now, the next one. This one, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty damn excited about. This is a flashback set. Now, basically what you have to do here is you have to get all of the flashback cards that were in the game this year. All of the, the high-end elite ones. Take a look at these here, guys. All of them. 33 of them. And you guys know some of these are pretty damn expensive. Now, I'm just going to go through and take a look at a couple of them here. Because I don't think all of them are this expensive. But, like, for example, the Colin Kaepernick. Okay? Now, this is a 93 overall quarterback. And obviously one that's fast. So, the price is going to be a little higher on this. But, 80,000 coins to get this Colin Kaepernick off the auction house right now. Then we'll go and take a look at, like, Kurt Coleman, for example. Kurt Coleman... Not as expensive, but still pretty expensive here at 72,000 coins. So just in those two alone, if you're lucky, 150K. Carson Palmer, take a look at him real quickly. Another pretty expensive one, 80K for that. I mean, granted, all of these cards, of course, are getting price fixed right now because, of course, what's going to happen whenever they put out a set like this where you have to buy certain cards, you can't just put a wild card of flashbacks like they did with the Legend set. Anytime they do something like this, people just pick specific ones that they want to price fix. And they just hold the market on them. Take a look at this. Byron Maxwell, there's only two up. 90,000 coins, basically, to, to get the Byron Maxwell. I mean, it, we're looking at, like, four cards, and we're near 400,000 coins. Now, granted, I was looking at some of the more expensive ones. I mean, I'm sure if you look at, like, Lawrence Timmons, I bet he's probably not as expensive. Yeah. I mean, you can get these for 30,000. That's not bad, of course. I mean, and there are other ones that are fairly cheap. Let's take a look at, like, uh, Ryan Clady, for example. He's an offensive lineman. Probably not super expensive. Yep, there you go, 17000 So, I mean, obviously, there are ones on the opposite end that are not nearly as expensive. But, again, guys, the problem is that these are super, super expensive to complete. Let's take a look real quickly and see what the Julio Jones is going for on the auction house. I think that was the most recent one that I looked up. Um, so, let's take a look and see if we can find him out here on the auction house. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yep. Okay. So the cheapest one right now is up for 1.78 million 
coins. So that means obviously whoever did this set probably spent, I would guess, at least 1.78 million coins to complete the set. And then obviously you have to consider the fact that in addition to that, you're also going to be losing coins if you put it onto the auction house. So like, for example, if this person uh, did it for exactly the set for exactly 1.78 million, well, even if they get 1.78 million in return for, for doing the set and selling it, they're going to lose 178,000 coins because of the EA tax. So once again, you just get crushed every time you try to complete these big sets. I, I really don't like it. Uh, but let's take a look at the attributes of this Julio Jones. It is a ridiculously good card. Six foot three, 95 spectacular catch. Obviously, 95 catching as well. Great jumping. I mean, he's really got everything you look for. I'm not going to say that this isn't a great receiver. I mean, arguably, it's the best receiver in the game right now. Um, so uh, there's no denying that this is a great card. But again, it costs so much to complete these sets. And it's just frustrating that they have to do that every single time. If they just made it so that the flashbacks were a wild card, it would be so much more achievable. And granted, I understand that that would hurt the price of the Julio Jones and it would make it so much easier for other people to get it. But this is ultimate team, man. I want to be able to build the best team possible. So let me do that. Please, EA, let me build the team that I want to build. So now that we've taken a look at the Julio Jones, let's take a look at the next one, the team of the week. Now, this is a 99 overall David Johnson. David Johnson do, did get two hero cards throughout the year on the team of the week sets so obviously he makes sense as the reward but take a look at the price of some of these cards man it's it's just crazy i don't understand why they do this every single time man like every set is so expensive to complete now granted this is not as expensive to complete as the uh the julio jones the david johnson is not if you take a look it's fifty thousand for logan ryan i mean most of these guys are going for not a whole lot more than that maybe you'll see like a vic beasley maybe going for more who knows yeah there, there you go so like vic beasley fifty thousand, a little bit more expensive i mean there's a couple guys up here as well like brandon cooks and deshaun jackson because they have really high-end speed obviously these ones are going for a lot more these might be a little bit of a mini snipe here actually at 64 and 65k because i have seen them selling up here at around 90k so just keep that in mind of course as well deshaun jackson we'll take a look at him real quickly see what he's going for again not super expensive here at 60,000, but you need 36 of those players to complete the david johnson so you can start to see that even at like 30,000 coins each you're talking about a super expensive card to complete I mean, like, ridiculously expensive. I, I don't understand, again, why they'd make it so that you have to get so many of these damn things. And, and honestly, again, there are other ones as well where they're they're quite a bit more expensive because they get price fixed. And if you get caught trying to try and, you know, finish your set at the very end and you just need that one additional player, you're going to end up spending more than what you really should. And you guys can see here, this card's going for 2 million coins right now. I have, I have seen it going for a little bit cheaper than that at like 1.7 to 1.8 million. But man, look at that. That is just crazy expensive. So take a look here. Now, David Johnson does have some of the things that we really want. I mean, he's a super balanced running back. Maybe the best running back in the game right now. 95 speed, obviously, is, is among the best, if not the best at the position. 96 acceleration as well. Great carrying, great elusiveness. His trucking's a 94. Agility is a 93. He also has the big one, battle-ready chemistry. Of course, we all know that is one of the best things that you can put onto a running back. And I hope everybody that makes golden ticket or ultimate ticket running backs puts that on there as well. Uh, bruising back does also increase your trucking, stiff arm, and um, your impact blocking as well. So, I mean, again, this David Johnson is ridiculously good. He's also a good receiver. You see the 80 catching there. I mean, that's, again, among the best of any of the players at the position. So I understand why this card is going for as expensive as it is, because it is a ridiculously good card. But once again, to complete these sets, it's just so, 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 so expensive. And uh, it's just frustrating, man. It's just frustrating as somebody who's played this game for quite a few years now, and I've, I've just seen the sets become less and less reasonable to do every single year and and it seems like as the season goes on honestly they become less and less reasonable to do to to complete than the beginning of the year so the final one that i want to show you here guys 40 items needed to complete dominique rogers cromarty now before i even get into it i want to say dominique rogers cromarty is probably the best cornerback in the game right now if you take a look at all of the attributes he matches up even really well against Deion sanders so i mean i understand this is going to be an expensive card no matter what they do but take a look at some of these first of all you need to get 
all of the Football Outsiders players, um, like the ones that went into the sets and things like that. These are, I mean, again, quite expensive to complete. So just take a look at this here. Even there are gold cards in here. Like, look at this. This is this one I saw earlier was super price fixed. Look at this. 58,000 for an 82 overall card. Like, it's just, it's absurd. It honestly is. Let's take a look at the Levante David. I bet he's expensive too. Oh, no, I guess Levante David wasn't price fixed, thankfully. I didn't even see this one earlier, but 17,000 for him. At least that's like somewhat doable. But like, if you go down here to some of the higher overall guys as well, um, like Richard Sher, I, I can't even imagine what this is going to go for. This has got to be ridiculous. Yup, 125k. Now, granted, Richard Sherman at 94 overall is probably worth 125k just as the card itself. But um, uh, even if it didn't go into a set, honestly, so that's actually not as bad as I was expecting. But I mean, some of these other guys, Jordan Howard, he's got the bruising back, so this is probably a fairly expensive one. Uh, 60,000, it looks like not as bad as I was expecting. But um, there are definitely a bunch of players in this that are super, super expensive to get. Um, obviously, you see here De uh, Devonta Freeman, only 46k to get him right now. But these prices do fluctuate quite a bit as well. And when I say only, I mean you have to keep in mind. If you paid an average of 50000 per card throughout the whole thing, I mean, obviously, there are going to be some like the Amari Cooper here. I've actually seen, I have not seen him cheaper than this. This is the cheapest I've seen him since the set went up. 130 k Like, there are going to be cards like this that are super, super expensive, and then there are going to be a couple that are around 20000 25000 But if you average 50000 coins times 40, that's $2 million. I mean, dear God, man. Like, it, it, it's so crazy to try and complete these. So, obviously, Dominic Rogers Cromartie, I think he's probably the most expensive of the bunch. So, let's go see what he's actually going for right now, and we'll take a look at his attributes. Like I said, my personal opinion is that this is the best cornerback currently in the game. So, I wouldn't be surprised if he's going for well over $2 million right now, honestly. Um, so, we'll, uh, we'll type him in here and see what he's going for. I'm in. Yep, there you go. 3.34. There's only one up right now. I'm assuming that's because it's pretty darn expensive to complete this set. And I haven't seen him sell, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just insanely expensive to complete. Pick specialist times two. He also has deep defender. 96 speed, 97 excel. Thankfully, this card is going to be able to actually stop some of those deep streaks and things like that. Great agility, awesome man coverage. The zone coverage is also great. Play recognition is excellent. I think I saw somebody say that his 90 press is the best he's ever had on a card in Madden. Now, I could be wrong on that, or at least this year, at least uh, maybe, maybe not considering golden tickets. I don't know, but uh, I definitely heard that people are saying that that's a big upgrade from what he's had in the past. I haven't compared, but that's just something to keep in mind. 80 catching as well is ridiculously good for a cornerback. So uh, pretty much everything you would look for. Obviously, the big thing where he's not the best is he's not amazing in run support. He doesn't have great block shedding. You take a look at that 54. That's certainly not good. Player recognition is good, though, at a 95. His pursuit's good at an 80 as well. Um, so he's not just going to get completely abused like a Deion Sanders would, but overall, this card is, in my opinion, definitely the best cornerback currently in the game. We'll see ultimate tickets coming up here soon. I have heard as well that Dominic Rogers Cromarty is going to be getting an ultimate ticket. That's the rumor. I don't know that confirmed at this point, but uh, if he does, the price on this card should drop. So keep that in mind, guys. I know uh, the ultimate tickets could be coming out here in the next couple of days or even at least in the next couple of weeks. So keep that in mind. Again, you don't want to get caught buying this for $3.34 million and then two weeks from now it's going for $2 million or $1.5 million. You don't want to have that happen to you. So just keep that stuff in mind, guys, here. Uh, and that is going to do it for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully you guys understand my frustration and why I haven't been going out here and doing these sets. It's just so insanely expensive to try and complete anything right now. So hopefully you guys, again, did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you all again soon.